Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my battery pack which I built and uh, I have disassembled it uh, because the BMS got fried. I'm not getting the 24 volt out of it. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but I think either the MOSFETs would have fried or the balance cable would have got disconnected. So I just removed the uh, BMS and uh, this is actually a BMS which I got from eBay. Uh, it's a 24 volt 8S 100 amp hour BMS. Uh, these are the balance cable that you see So one of the main reason could be that uh, either the MOSFET or the other thing is the balancing leads the balancing lead would have not got connected correctly uh, That could be the, the reason so I disconnected all the balance cable and I reconnected it and I did sand all the connectors uh, a little bit using the sandpaper To see what's happening and I also connected the active balancer if you see the active balance is turned on because uh, two cells are pretty low, I believe. So it's it's balancing it. And then what I did was I connected this uh, BMS and the battery pack to my bug boost converter. I got this from Banggood. This is pretty handy, pretty neat. I really like this one. So I'm right now I'm charging this at 23 uh, volt, the battery and the ampere is at four ampere. This is pretty handy bug boost converter. I would suggest that people to buy this if you haven't had any uh, bench power supply and uh, one end I connected the alligator and the other end is the XC60 connector so let's see what happens I'm gonna leave it to charge for now and I'll come back to you on what happens and guys this is a complete video on how you could build a battery pack this is more focus on beginners uh, this video would contain key uh, key information on what you actually need so I disconnected the BMS. This is the BMS that I got. It's an M God brand. Uh, it's a Chinese brand. So I'm not sure what happened. So I have to replace it. So I got another set of BMS. This is a DALI 100 amp hour BMS. This is also a waterproof BMS. It's an 8S 100 amp hour. And this BMS contains a temperature sensor, which is pretty good. The other one did not have the temperature sensor. And uh, this one is also a common port BMS which has the battery connectors already sold, uh, crimped and uh, it actually uses a high flexible silicon wire and the other end are the balancing connections so you don't need to do any soldering I like these sort of BMS it's it's pretty much plug and play it's a common port BMS guys whenever you build a battery pack make sure that you use a proper BMS because a BMS is really required Without a BMS, do not use uh, a lithium iron phosphate cells. And if you need this BMS, you could certainly reach out to the person. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, you can also join my channel and you could ask the person from there. So I connected all the batteries in, in parallel and top balancing it now using the buck converter. So the ampere at which the battery is charging at 6.67. That's the one set and the other set is at 6.63 because I divided the batteries uh, in two sets of four. So it almost took three days for the battery to fully charge because it's an 800 amp power battery pack. Uh, so top balancing it with just six amp would, would really take a long time. So guys, whenever I connect the batteries with the copper bus bus, I make sure that I sand the copper uh, bus bus so that the oxidation is removed and uh, it has a proper connection. You could use a normal sandpaper, that's fine. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly rearrange the battery so that I could tell you how you could connect the batteries and another thing is that whenever you keep the batteries together make sure that you have an insulation layer I'm using an epoxy sheets to insulate batteries from each other so that uh, the batteries don't touch each other for example the PVC casing might get turned off or or uh, if, if something happens it might short with the other battery so that's the reason why all I would suggest that you use an insulation sheet in between you just need to take an epoxy sheet in between and then uh, keep the batteries or you could use an insulation paper that you get it's known as barley paper you could use that 
So the black circle is the plus, the white is the negative. So you're just connecting the batteries in series. So the first cell uh, would be the positive side. And then likewise, you just have to keep arrange the batteries. Uh, this is pretty simple. You don't, I mean, building a battery pack is quite easy as long as you follow the proper steps. So we just interchange the battery uh, terminal. So for example, the first cell negative, then the, the, the next side should be the positive and then again negative. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's, it's, it's no brainer. Uh, whenever you connect the batteries or build battery packs, make sure that you don't have any metal objects with you, like your bracelets or something, because these are lithium iron phosphate batteries with less resistance and there is a fire hazard. Whenever you get the BMS, you also get the balance cable. It's a JST type connector. Uh, it just uh, puts in um, and goes in pretty simple. And then you have to make sure that all the uh, cables are connected properly. Uh, another thing is that the cable does not come with this uh, terminal. You have to crimp it. You could get it from Amazon. Uh, you could get it from there. So always when it comes to the balance cable, the first cell would all the first cable would always be the black one. So that's the negative uh, cable. And then the next wire would be the first cell positive. When we say first cell positive, it's always from the negative side, guys. Remember this, it's always from the negative side. That's the first cell positive. The next wire to that would be the second cell positive. So that's the second cell positive. Likewise, the third wire, that's the third red wire would be the third cell positive. Likewise, all the wires get connected to each of the positive terminals so that the BMS can sense the battery voltages. Make sure that you connect the BMS cable correctly because if you interchange the balance cable, it'll fry the BMS for sure. So make sure that you keep in mind when you connect the cables and you double check or triple check the connections. And then what I did was I kept all the epoxy sheets and then I uh, zip tied using the wooden plank because I wanted to compress the batteries together. I, that's the reason why I actually used the wooden plank. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a heat shrink and uh, just cover the entire battery pack. So let me just uh, tilt the battery and then start heat shrinking it. And most of the videos I did cut it off guys uh, because I really don't want to bore you guys with uh, all this. Uh, since I wanted to make a beginner friendly video, uh, I'm putting so much of uh, content into it. I wanted to cover every aspect of it. So this is how you build a battery pack at home uh, and it's pretty simple. So I connected everything, the fuse, the BMS, uh, the copper bus bars and also the active balancer. So everything has been connected and the battery now gives out 28 volt, uh, which is pretty, this is how it's expected to work. So uh, I heat shrink this and this looks much neater and at the top I'll put an epoxy sheet and as well as I'll uh, heat shrink that again for now I just left it open because I need to do a little more testing. Uh, I really hope that you like this video and uh, if you if you like my content do subscribe to it and uh, if you like my channel. Uh, do let me know if there's any suggestion or if there's anything that I should work with. So all the BMS wires are connected properly. So this is how you build a simple battery pack for your inverter. Thank you so much for watching guys.